guys, what's going on? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab, and in this video I'm just going to show you how the face recognition and focus tracking works with the Sigma 30mm f2.8 EXDN lens, and then I'm going to put on the LA-EA2 adapter, and I'm going to put on the Sony 35mm lens um, and see how that works in comparison with this one. So let me just walk backwards and see how this works. Should be tracking my face. I should be analyzing and looking for my face right now and tracking the focus. Whether it is or not, I'll have to see in a second. Alright, here's the LA-EA2 adapter with the Sony 35mm f1.8 lens. It's a DT lens, um, which is an A-mount. But uh, I'm using the, the adapter, obviously, on this, which allows it to have phase detection autofocus. Um, as a downside, the Sony engineers decided to stop the aperture down at f3.5 when using autofocus, when using the phase detection style autofocus. I'm not exactly sure why this is, but that's why this aperture is at f3.5 and not the native f1.8 wide open that this is capable of shooting at. So just so you know. But anyway, as far as the focus tracking goes, I'm just going to move back and forth here, see how it does. Pretty fast, right? Significantly faster than contrast detection autofocus. CDAF is the acronym for that, and then this is PDAF for phase detection autofocus. So, phase detection is obviously much faster than contrast detection just because of the nature of how it works. And when it's low contrast, low light, they, the phase detection isn't really that much better, um, as you can see from some of the other video tests I've done. But in good light like this, it definitely seems to be way faster and a much, much noticeable improvement as far as tracking and stuff like that. It just keeps up much better and uh, it seems more accurate as well from what I can tell just looking on the screen just now. So once I put this video together, I'll probably have a little better look on it. But uh, that's about it for now and I hope you guys got something out of this. I'll catch up with you on SonyAlphaLab.com.